We're gonna go through a shoulder press movement, which is a popular gym related movement to do. We'll talk a little about hand position and ways to minimize shoulder pain. So the beginning of this, I have this, you know, multi unit machine um, that I'm gonna do the shoulder press on. A couple important things. One is gonna be, as I'm going into this pressing motion, I wanna try and avoid this excessive arch in my lower back, right? So before I go to do any of these pressing type motions to initiate any force, I want to think about trying to control this positioning of my pelvis, sucking my hips underneath me, trying to keep my lower back pretty flat. Um, this is easier to do in a sitting position, so if you're doing a seated shoulder press, it'll happen a little bit more naturally. Now as I come up overhead, a couple important things, right? One is going to be that I try and make sure that I'm not having any excessive hiking of my shoulder up towards my ears. I try and keep my shoulder blades set a little bit down as I keep my hips tucked underneath me. Doing this in standing, I could go to a little bit of a staggered stance, but it would be a little better on my lower back. Now as I'm coming down, one issue is that people who are tight in the front of their chest, the further down they come, the more their back wants to arch because they're stiff, right? So I'd be better off going with a couple variations. One would be just not going so low that I can't keep my butt tucked underneath me, right? And I usually try and always do a three to four second negative with this movement, only going as low as I can usually hands to around the level of my ears before I press up. Now if I do have any stiffness in the front of my shoulders where my pec gets tight and makes me want to do this, I may be better off going from this wide position to angling my elbows a little bit more in so I don't have to fight against that tightness in my pec and in this slightly in position I'll be a little less likely to arch in my lower back. So for this one, since I don't have a lot of options, I'll probably just come to this um, post. And now here, it's gonna be a whole lot easier for me to maintain that positioning of my lower back and a little bit of variation on what I'm working in my shoulders and my arms. I'm also trying to make sure here I'm going through this pressing motion that I'm not letting my head jut forward. So I kind of think about my hips tucked underneath me, my head back over my shoulders as I go through this press. Down slow, and for any reason I get shoulder pain or I feel like I can't control it, I can also always do a shallower press, which will also be fatiguing but not take me to that point where I lose control.